Today we're going to be installing the most essential mod that every single snowmobile needs, whether you're a ditch banger, trail rider, backcountry rider, etc., lake racer, whatever you ride, this is the most essential mod. And no, I am not talking about an exhaust, I am talking about a skid plate. The skid plate protects the underside of your sled from getting stumps, rocks, you name it, anything that could be on the trailer, on the lake, or in the backcountry coming up through your belly pan. Because if you come up through your belly pan, not only is the motor there, you got your exhaust there, it could cause major damage to your sled and potentially total it out. But with a skid plate, you minimize the risk of things coming up through the bottom of your sled and breaking your sled. I've always run a skid plate on every single sled I've owned, and so has Brandon. Today, we're gonna be installing this Skidoo full body skid plate on Brandon's 2022 850 to protect the underside of the sled. Now, it's a pretty simple install. Pretty much what we're gonna do is line this up on the bottom of the sled, tape it in place or find a way to hold it in place so we can mark these holes. And then we're gonna drill the holes out, shoot the rivets in, and it should be good to go. We got the free ride kind of ghetto rig leaning on this stack of bins here so we can see what's going on on the underside. And we think that these little nubs here, these little bump outs are where you're supposed to drill off of the skid plate. We're gonna line the skid plate up to be sure before we do that. Mark the exact holes of where we want the skid plate and then drill them out. Oh yeah. Let's see. Dude, that's like, you probably want it right there. Dude, you gotta get some shaper bars on here. I would say this is gonna be an easy install, but usually when you say something is gonna be easy, it screws us over like the exhaust. So we're gonna hold off on saying this is easy till it is done. We're gonna go ahead and drill out these holes that we need to drill out for the skid plate with a 3 16 drill bit on this junk DeWalt drill. Boy, why are you using this? Buddy. Buddy, there's no excuse. We spoke a little too soon on the install being simple on this because we found out that these washers need to go on the inside of the sled in the engine bay. They cannot go on the outside. So we got to take the hood off, the side panels off, just to install the skid plate. Not a big deal. It's just, it's a little time consuming because we're not used to messing with skidoos. We're used to Polaris. So we've already had this off once today. So we're going to have it off twice. We probably should have left it off, but it's a good thing we read the instructions. So we're installing this right instead of installing it wrong and potentially having the skid plate fall off or mess up the sled. Oh yeah, so much easier than last time. Got the hood, side panels, everything off the sled. Now it is time to finally drill the holes for the skid plate. Worst thing about using these cheap hand rivet guns from like Harbor Freight is like when it finally pops the rivet, it snaps so hard, it hurts your hands so much. That's why he's gonna do it. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Get a little work stand. Hey, she gets the job done though, eh? So you guys don't need to see us snap in like 10 rivets. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on time lapse and we will pick you guys up when we are done putting the rivets in or we run into an issue. Finally got the skid plate installed with all the rivets, everything is in place, ready to go. All we gotta do is put the panels back on and the install is officially done with. So let us all put back together and the skid plate is installed. Quite honestly, anyone could do this install at home. If you have basic hand tools and a little bit of patience, you could install a skid plate on your sled. With all that being said, if you guys like today's video, make sure to smash a huge thumbs up on today's video. In the comments below, let me know what other mods we should do to the 22 Freeride 850. And like I always say, if you guys are new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. That's something I do. I've been riding, rolling, drinking, smoking. That's something I do. I've been hiding all the.